We'll get ready for some more heat. The hot weather here to stay now going to feel like in the hundreds at least over the next couple of days. Yes, and even once we get a break from the triple digits, it's still going to feel hot and above average for this time of year. So that's why we want you to stay weather aware, not just today, but over the next few days too. This puts us at an elevated risk for things like heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and dehydration. And one of the reasons why it's also so important to know the difference between the two and really the dehydration as well. And it's not just about us. Remember to check on your neighbors, the elderly, young kids. They're normally a little bit more susceptible to things like heat exhaustion and heat stroke especially. So remember those heat impacts over the next few days and really starting today and all the way till Wednesday especially. Now once you see dew points in the 70s, that's the deeper red shading you see here into that oppressive category. That's that air you can wear. You might have heard Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich say that a few times. Once you get into the pink shading though, that's the 75 degree dew points or higher. That's the miserable category. That's more like air that you can swim through. That's that deep tropical moisture that oftentimes we don't see until the end of summer, sometimes not even at all during the summertime. That's more like South Florida kind of humidity, and that's why we are seeing these above average heat index values over the next few days. That's what puts us in the high muggy, if not yikes category. While there are going to be some teeter tottering back and forth numbers here when it comes to our dew points the next few days, Overall, the heat and humidity, that is going to remain the big story. The reason why I want to point that out for you here is that there is a weak cold front that's trying to pass through the area over the next 48 hours. This is going to bring us a small chance of limited rainfall potential for the metro, mostly in the mountains over mainly tonight and into Monday morning. So I don't want you to see this cold front coming in and think, oh my gosh, it's going to feel so much better because it heat this intense a small dip in the dew point is really not going to be a big change. Look at these numbers here. Once you get to a heat index of 105, the difference between 105 and 102 100 is not substantial. So really the next four days, especially we want you to stay weather aware for that 105 to 100 degree difference. Now by Thursday, we will dip below the 100 degree mark, but I think it's also important to note that even though we dip below 100 for that feels like temperature, it is still going to be plenty hot, plenty humid by the end of the week. The one difference though by Thursday, Friday and into the weekend that might give us some additional relief is there is going to be a return of a little bit of rain and thunderstorm activity, which does bring us some rain cool there. Now I have seen a few comments here where we have seen um, things like why are we talking so much about the heat? You know, we know how to stay safe, things of that nature. Um, the reason why we of course think it's so important is one to let people know, but two, even in recent years, there's actually been an uptick in heat related fatalities. Remember, heat is the number one weather related killer in the United States. One of the reasons why they've done research on this is that heat, you can't see it, right? You can see wind, you can see things like tornadoes, but you can't see heat and you can't see cold. And actually there was a significant uptick in 2023. A lot of this was related to those significant heat waves in the Southwest over in places like Arizona and New Mexico. But I mean, an average of 1500 related deaths every single year from heat. We certainly do not want anyone here in the Carolinas to beat any of those numbers. So just take this heat seriously and we'll continue to keep you updated. Elsewhere in the tropics, we do have one area of interest to let you know about. Of course, we were talking about this yesterday. Small area in the Gulf of Mexico. Medium chance of development is no risk to us here in the Charlotte area. So please, folks, just take the heat seriously over the next few days. We do see heat index numbers like this, but typically not into mid to late July and into early August. And it's not just the fact that it's early for the season, but it is prolonged. So stay safe, stay hydrated, stay weather aware the next four days, and we will get some slight relief by the end of this week and heading into the weekend.